All right, guys, today's video is going to be really short. I'm going to be reviewing this Easy Focus 200 watt hour portable generator. All right, let's talk about this device here. This is pretty cool. It's got a light, LED light. It's got the 12 volt uh, section here, which has four USB plugs, and then four of these barrel type uh, 12 volt uh, DC outputs, uh, three amps times four. Uh, this is a nice little section. It's all, it's all switch independently. So if you just wanna use these low voltage uh, circuits, then you do that. If you only wanna use the light, you turn that. On the other side, we got three of these plugs, they're the AC side, right? And to turn that on, to use those, you just turn this switch, which then this guy tells you what the percentage is of the battery. Uh, it's got a little fan, and then it's got this little plug here that is to charge it. And it has three different ways of charging it. You can charge it off the wall, all by using this little uh, adapter here. And it comes with this other little plug, right? That connects there, and it has the MC4 connectors ready to go to a solar panel. It could also be charged uh, using this guy, which goes to a 12 volt car uh, socket, uh, cigarette lighter, right? So, okay, let's read the specs here. Output power rated 300 watts peak. Uh, output power rated 300 watts peak 600 watts. USB outputs four ports, five volts, 6.2 amp max. Uh, DC output is 12 volts, three amps max right times four which is 10 amps max battery capacity 12 volts 18 amp hours uh and then slash 200 watt hours ac input uh 100 to 240 oh okay so it's uh this one will work pretty much everywhere in the world with the right uh connector here right 100 to 240 volts 50 or 60 hertz LED light is one watt, max three watts. Output voltage, it's 120 volts at 60 hertz, which is the American standard, right, for the AC. Output waveform is pure sine wave. And I wish I had an oscilloscope to actually test that, but I don't. So we're just gonna have to take their word for it. So let's test this and see if it indeed has 200 watt hour worth of battery. All right, here's my setup. I'm using this to measure how much wattage is coming out. Let's load it up. Here's one light. Ooh, 142 watts. Still measuring 100. Let's load up another one. Ooh, 222. Let's, let's do a little bit more. 300 watts. Let's see how long this lasts. All right, here we go. 150 watt hours in and the alarm is making noise and it's showing zero that's it zero battery capacity let's check what the voltage in the inside battery is to see if it actually used the entire battery all right let's take this thing apart to see what kind of batteries it's got inside Right, so this is the inside of this and here's the battery you know just held together with just a crude uh, aluminum stuff I'm gonna take this off because I really want to test this battery so this is a 3s 8p but it's a 3s which is which means that the nominal voltage is 11.1 volts and that's what we're looking for so this battery does have a bms built in and the positive goes directly into the positive lead the negative goes through and through the bms here here's something strange though you see these here current sensing shunts right those uh you should be able to measure how much current goes through there but they're just soldering right straight into them, which is basically making them useless. Either they're not using that part of the circuit, but I think how this design is, 
when it sees more than a certain amount of resistance here, then that's when it might hit the microcontroller here, might send a signal to shut down the MOSFETs here. Uh, so that it cuts the it cuts the power either to the battery or off of the battery But the way they have them plugged in here. Well, they're not gonna work because they're not They're gonna connect it on the end of it. They're connected on top of it So that's pretty strange thing there uh, a lot a lot of MOSFETs here all parallel So that means this thing could probably handle quite a bit of amps 3s 12p So there you go. It's only 8 P. All right, this one only has 12 p, uh, 8 p, and this thing says that it could do 12 p at least on the uh, writings here on the uh, PCV. So maybe it can handle more. So let's do the math here. These cells say they are uh, 7.2 watt hours. So it's one, two, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. 12 this 24 cells so it's 7.2 watt hours times 24 cells that would be 172.8 watt hours uh which is funny because the case over here says 200 watt hours but the batteries themselves don't say that now this is what the batteries say they can do this actual test let's take let's test actual capacity All right, here we go. 150 watt hours. So there you go. This little charge uh, solar, what is it, solar generator here is pretty good. Other than the fact that, well, it doesn't have 200 watt hours of battery. It has only 150, which is not too bad, right? It's only 50 watt hours less, but you know, it's still way too small. That's not enough battery to do you know anything really useful so how can we extend the battery of this thing well remember these guys these are the medical batteries that our seller on ebay sells so let me show you how to use this to extend the battery this right here has about 280 watt hours so almost twice what this thing has so let me show you how to do that so take the battery apart and then take out all that BMS thing that it has inside. You're not going to need any of that. We started the cables you just cut just to go straight out. This is where we're going to install a new charge controller. Connect those cables, the positive and negative, right into the charge controller. Cut the 12 volt charge cable in half and connect into the output of the charge controller. All right. Now that we have this box here, let's see if we can charge our solar generator. We splice that cable and put it in here on the load side of this. Boom. And look at that, the charge light is on. And if you turn this on, look at that, it's 32%, which means the voltage is going up. That, that meter is not that accurate, it just measures, you know, according to voltage. Um, so the last thing to do is to get this cable, right, that is made to go here and to install the, the solar panel in here and charge the battery inside here. So now what you do is you cut it and you install it here on the solar charge input of this. And so now your solar panel will charge this battery and then this battery will charge this battery. And now your solar generator is well now it's a hundred plus 280 380 almost 400 watt hours by the way you can also buy a second battery do the same thing put it in here either using another one of these or in the same one um and then you can grow your system that way so there you go guys this is how you use one of the most affordable uh solar generators found on Amazon, it's pretty good other than the fact that it only has 75% of the advertised capacity, right? Making it too small. Even if it had the 200 watt hours, it would be kind of small to be useful. So adding a 
$45 medical battery that you can buy from this link uh, and a $6 charge controller, then you could add another 200% battery to that device, making it that much useful. I think with that one, you can run a CPAP machine or one of those other medical machines that people in Puerto Rico need. And it's not very hard. It took me like an hour to do all this work while I was talking to several people at the same time through text and emails and stuff. And so it's pretty easy. Yeah, that's another way that you can help the people from Puerto Rico is by buying all these components, doing this stuff yourself and sending it to Javier, our contact in Puerto Rico. Oh, one last thing, one last thing. I got some merch. We got ourselves some shirts uh, to support our videos that get demonetized for one reason or another. So if you want to help me and you get one of these or you get one of these, yeah. You know, I don't use hats, but a lot of people do. And if I were to use one, I would probably end up doing this to the bill. All right, there you go. Jag DIY. Support the cost, guys, by buying some of this stuff if you want. You know, if you don't, completely okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.